Well, June was both quiet and record breaking here in Maine, but as the dog days of summer approach, look for both an increase in temperatures and precipitation. Weather Authority meteorologist Emily Santum joining us now in studio. And Emily, what can we expect this month? Well, you said it exactly right, Greg. We're going to see above average temperatures and precip, but before that, we're just finishing up June. June's actually pretty dry, I would say. Just over three and a half inches of rain, which is below the average for the month. Now, the maximum temperature was 94 degrees on June 20th, ironically, the first day of summer. It actually broke a record of 93 degrees back in 2020 and ended almost a two year long stretch of no 90 degree days at the Portland jet port. So let's go into July. It is July 2nd. On July 1st, we usually average a high in the upper 70s, but yesterday it was 81 degrees, so already starting off pretty strong. Average lows will be in the upper 50s for the first, and by the end of the month, we'll be near 80 degrees by July 31st. We also average about 3.43 inches of rain during July, and the dog days of summer begin July 3rd and end on August 11th. So the Weather Prediction Center did release their temperature and precipitation monthly outlook on June 30th. Here's a look at the Northeast. We're looking slightly above normal for the majority of New England, Maine included, also looking slightly above normal on the precip side. So as we head throughout the month of July, we'll have to see where we end up with the numbers. For the more immediate forecast, though, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Charlie Lepresti. And Charlie, you're tracking plenty of sun and maybe some good 4th of July weather. Yeah, and those continued warm temperatures, right? Good information right there, Emily. This is turning out to be one of those classic summers. Hot, humid, thunderstorms, a little bit of everything here. So almost the exact opposite of what we had last summer.